one that really stands out to me is I had this mom and this dad who had four kids between them. And um, we got involved because um, mom and dad were using prescription pills and the kids were missing school. Well, I think that's why we originally got the report. The kids were missing school. Um, and then, of course, as we got more involved, we found out more information that there was, you know, a lot of neglect going on in the home. The kids weren't getting their needs met and there was physical discipline in the home. Um, I was able to build a pretty strong relationship with this mom to the point where she was able to admit to me that both mom and dad were using 80 Percocet a day. Um, which normally that would kill somebody, but I think they had built up such a tolerance to it over the years. Um, and they were, they were, um, you know, they had stolen a prescription pad essentially is how they were able to do this. And so they were driving all over the state of Minnesota to different pharmacies to, um, steal these drugs with the kids in the car. And so, um, but, but the part that stands out to me or that impacted me the most is, um, so we removed these kids and they went with grandma, but over the next year, we worked so hard, I would say, um, on building a, an incredibly tight safety network and safety plan. This was back when I did case management a couple years ago, um, to the point where we were able to reunify mom with the four kids. Dad kind of blew out of the picture and they didn't, um, they didn't remain together. But I was able to re, um, reunify mom with the four kids to the point where she is now remarried with a one-year-old. Um, so she has all five kids. She has a fantastic job. Um, they moved out of the community, kind of started over, and she is in contact with me fairly often um, and updates me on how things are going. And so I, I would say really proud of that case because we worked really hard. I mean, that's one of the worst, I don't know, 80 per cassette a day. That's not normal. <laughs> and the parents, basically all they did was sleep. And so the oldest daughter was 10 and she raised her three siblings. And of course they didn't get to school because she, you know, that was a lot for her to, to manage. And so I would say I'm really proud of that case. Um, and it really shows that, you know, it, it can, it can happen. Kids can be reunified no matter the situation, as long as, you know, people are willing to work together and, and we had hope. I would say that that's one of the biggest things. And that's what the mom would say too, is that I had hope for her and she saw that and she, she took that and we worked together to make it happen.